All right. In the continuation of our explanation of the workflow, now we have collected all of the pieces and we are going now to build our assembly. And in this case, assembly will consist of this base and that vertical plate. So assemblies are made in a separate part of so in a separate section of SolidWorks program, which is assembly workbench. And if we have some part that we want to start from where we want to start building an assembly, for example, if you are building an engine, you will start by putting play parts onto the engine block. In this case, we will start by putting a part, in this case, only one part on the base. So we can open the file of our base, which we just finished drawing, and we will click under, we, we hover with the mouse on the file, and then we left, cl left click with the, on a make assembly from part. So left click make assembly from part. And this pane will open which asks us what we want to do, which part we want to insert. And we want to insert the base part. And this is all for now will be okay. We will go into detail with the assembly. Now. Base part is inserted into a newly created assembly file, and we should save this as a marble game assembly. Let's say, for example, the name. Now you see that parametric tree of assembly is somewhat different, and the individual items are not feature, but individual items are parts. Now, what we do to continue assembling, we will bring another part by clicking on the arrow under insert component and then click insert component and it will show the open document and the other vertical line we call it a target and we bring it in now we want to properly align two parts and to make them how they are going to be assembled in this case those tabs will go into those holes and the parts we can presume that they will be a press fitted eventually maybe even glued with some adhesive here so in assembly most important concept to grasp are the mates and mates we can find under the sub menu mate if we click on the icon mate with the left button we have a mate selection which we, where we can choose any of the geometries now think about this we want how we can describe how those two parts sits relative to each other we can say that this tiny surface of this part will sit at the top of this surface. And then we can continue saying, let's say that this surface here of the tab will be pressing against this surface in and that the surface of the tab will press against the, this surface of the hole. And that will be called coincident. When something press against something, we call this a coincident mate. So there is a so we click on a coincident mate, and we first click on the big flat surface of our base, and we want to make it coincidental with this surface of the plate. We click OK after each mate. It is very important to click on a green OK button. And we have already created a one mate. So as you can see, this now part just slide on the top of that surface. Now, to continue making it, we are going to choose, let's say, this surface, this face here. And that face will go against the inner face of the cut. And now we can only move in the, in the one dimension. See, now we cannot move it anywhere, we can only move one dimension. And now let's say that the last mate that we want to do is to make this surface of the top with the inner surface of the cut. So we will again click on the tab surface and then with the inner surface of the cut, click OK. We can also click green button here, click OK to close the mate. And here is our project completed. As you can see, assembly is fully defined and everything fits into the position. So this is now our product. This product has physical features. Let's see, for example, what is the mass if this is built out of the birch plywood. So we can click on evaluate 
and we can click for example mass properties with the left mouse click and it will say that the mass is 0 0.07 pound but we work in a matrix unit so what did we forgot to do although we don't design the parts in assembly mode in order for our assembly to display proper in a matrix we need to change the units from ips to mmgs and now if i do the mass property it will say that it is about 29.5 grams in weight i'm going to save this assembly and i can click by save all it will change it will save anything if there were any changes now the power of the parametric modeling is that the if I do some changes inside assembly mode, those changes will propagate it to the parts. And likewise, if I change something in a part, it will propagate in assembly mode. So I can access part changes here. I can directly open like the part for editing gator by right clicking on it and then edit part. Or I can go directly and open the part and edit going back and forth. Or Third way is to click on this horizontal arrow, open the part tree, and let's say I want to change maybe in a sketch tree. I just click edit sketch, and let's say I want this to be a little bit bigger. Instead of 70, I want it to be a 90. And if I rebuild it, look what happened. It has changed. However, I did not embed inside this part when I started designing it some intelligence that it will actually change properly the holes because it, the holes will stay in the same position relative to the bottom and to the top how they were dimensioned. So anyway we can go back control Z we can change or we can just click back on our sketch and return the sketch back to 70 millimeters. And our part is, and our assembly is back to its original shape. Now, if I want to give this to a woodmaker to make me this toy, and if he and if the person does not have a laser cutter or 3D printer, there is no way that he can make this object. So what I need to do, I need to create the drawings. And there are two type of drawings in SOLIDWORKS. I can make the part drawings with the dimensions and I can make assembly drawings which shows me how the parts are assembled into the assembly. Let's start by making an assembly drawing. If I hover my mouse on a file menu and if I click down make drawing from assembly with a left click Now, first I can choose like the format, and this will be, let's say, a portrait. Click OK. Now, which will be my basic view? Maybe I will bring the isometric view. And I can change on that view, I can also change the scale. It has used the sheet scale or use the custom scale. If I click on use custom scale, I can get it to over 3 standard scale or 1 over 4. That will be a 2 small or 2 over 1. Well, let's say 1 over 1. 1 over 1 will be a proper size for the place. I can choose the representation from colored representation. Hidden line. Dashed hidden line no hidden line removed and let's say that i will go with the hidden line removed or i can have no edges representation so i will go usually you will do the hidden line removed click ok now i want to get the balloons in so i can play some annotations i can make the automatic table for a table of content if i click on auto balloon Look what will happen. It will create for me the two balloons, one saying number two, 
and one thing number one and now not only that I can have those two balloons showing me that there are two parts I can create an insert table bill of materials so if I go at the insert table and if I click on a build of bill of materials and then left click on the drawing and I will keep this as a standard maybe I can put it here here is my basic bill of materials table which now I can edit and uh, and instead of calling this based I can call this for example ENGT to I can claim some part nomenclature like ENGT 259001 and ENGT keep link and this will automatically propagate to ENGT 259259002 and now I can also enter a description and the one is what the base and we can call this one target not only that we can create like the automatically bill of materials we have also here some standard table some standard title block which we can populate with the information so I click on the edit here right click and left click on edit sheet format I can go and I can start entering material like double clicking on a text so it say like material and I will say birch plywood four millimeters and now we can have like here drawn And, I, and you should put your name and what is today date like 0, 5, 20, 22nd 17 and so on and finish for example you can specify natural wood and for example we can put here the name of the company if you want to put additional note you click on a letter a in a menu which is called note and we don't want to have any leaders so we can say no leader click here on no leader and we can put here Cerritos College And we can go here and edit the marble game assembly. You can change maybe a little marble assembly and revision. Let's say that this was the revision one. And weight, yeah. weight was what? Yeah. Weight was uh, 24.5 grams that we did before, or 25 grams. 25 grams. Yeah. And so on. we can continue entering other things, like for example, we can place here the dimensions are not in inches. What are the dimensions are in millimeters? And tolerances, angular, plus minus one degree, and we don't have, and fractionals we don't have because it's matrix, and two place decimal we can say plus minus point one, and three place decimal plus minus point one. Or that's too big of the tolerance, so we can say plus minus point five and plus minus point one. Okay, and that will be the fully like defined. And you can put like all of the other stuff. So to close the sheet format.